up, Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Don't get God the finger. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing on the faith to the next generation, if you love this dog, ha, like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things a rolling. Ready, Thor? Over the shoulder. Oh, my bad. Galatians 6, 7, and 8 is our Bible study text for this Thursday. Um, take a look at it now. Uh, may planus that. Now, planon is a word for the devil, the deceiver. I used to call one of my good friends at the seminary uh, planon. Uh, he's a fourth-year student. No names. But may planus that means don't be deceived. Don't be deviled. Um, God is not mocked. Now, this word for mock, um, it means to treat with contempt. It means to mock. Um, it means literally, you'll see it from BDB, to um, when we turn our nose up at something. What I would consider it as is giving the finger to someone. When we, when you, God is not to be treated as if he's a nothing. He's not to be given the liturgical sign of the bird. He's not to be treated like he's stupid or a bad driver on the interstate. Um, for whatever a person, what a man reap or sows, that also will he reap. So if you plant grain, you'll get grain. If you plant uh, pears, you'll get pears. The one who sows to his own sarka, that's flesh. Um, remember, flesh is connected to law. Flesh, law, works. In Galatians, those go together. So if you if you reap according to your own flesh, then you'll your flesh will reap. Um, it'll reap destruction or corruption or ruin. Corruption is because the Latin is corruptionum. Uh, thank you, Jerome, for that. This word really means um, destruction. You, you, you'll do yourself in. And how many of us have seen ourselves done in by our actions? The one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap life, eternal life. Now, life is connected with faith in the Scriptures. So what does this mean? Well, the way of works ends in destruction. Spiritual destruction, works destruction, failure, despair, burned out religion, brokenness. Well, there you go, turning it all into faith again. Well, that's what's going on here. Um, remember, those things that are connected together in Galatians stay together. Works flesh. Those two go together. So you reap according to the flesh. So if you live your life for yourself, you'll end up dying for yourself. For yourself. If you live your life for your own personal gain, you'll die for your own personal gain. No life there, only death. If you live a religion full of works and and doing and having your best life now, the most that you will have is your best life now. Or worse, that'll all you'll have. But the one who reaps eternal life, the one who reaps according to the Spirit, the Spirit will get, notice he doesn't earn it. The Spirit gives it. The way of faith is the way of life. To believe, to receive Jesus is to have life. So what the Lenten season is all about is losing that death that's in us. Losing that works that's in us. Losing that us. Dying to ourselves so that we might have eternal life in by faith in the Son of God who loved us and gave his life for us. The way of doing, sacrificing, earning is the same way of, of sin, death, and destruction. It ends in death, spiritual death, but also, oh, 
it was on the money too. But also, eternal death. You get what you earn. Or you're given by the Spirit what Jesus earned. That's what this is simply about. Don't just make this about, you know, you get what you deserve. If you live a life for yourself, you're going to die a death for yourself. You live a life for Jesus, you're going to live a li- uh, get a life for Jesus. It only works on the first part. Forgetting that the Spirit is the one that gives eternal life. Which means the Spirit gives you... Ooh, I missed. The Spirit gives you Jesus. He is eternal life. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been the Higher Things Video Show.